Ahem. This is the A45. Oh. And since the seat belts. Oh my god. Let's do this. Fire red. That's AMG color. So I'm driving the fastest, angriest hatchback in the world. You see a Cayman GT4, Porsche Performance GT car. Look at this, it is slower than this guy. Alright, you see a Ferrari 458, not technically slower, but on public roads, you are likely to be quicker in arriving the next destination. Oops. And this is. Uh, let me check with my rear passenger. Do you have your seat belts on? Yes. Good. Uh, you know, Grab car should have a category called fast and then allowing cars like these golf R's and all that <laughs> to to get people to their destination quickly and one two three go <laughs> How can you, with the budget in hand, go into a showroom, sit in a sit in an A45, make your first turn and make your first um, sixty percent acceleration on the throttle, and not buy this car? You will not not buy this car. How do I put it? When you watch a movie and you go to Orem Cinema and you sit on the sofa it is comfortable right? but if you watch a movie and you go into IMAX 4D Cinema with the seats that shake you spit water at you wind is more exciting and this is exactly that when you get into an A45 or the whole conceptualization of this thing called A45 is illogical to expect comfort. It is illogical to expect civility and it is illogical to expect you not getting a speeding ticket. All right, You buy this car to collect speeding tickets to collect speeding tickets in Selangor, in Kuala Lumpur, in Perak, in Johor, in Thailand, in everywhere because this car is made to collect speeding tickets. It will be an achievement <laughs> for those with sensitive minds and saying that, oh Bobby, how can you encourage people to speed? Uh, go watch something else right go watch cooking go watch uh, the metamorphosis of a moth all right we have something else to do my god what is this this car is <laughs> see i'm not even going 120 but it's the way this car go from 30 to 80 
in such a ballistic, illegal, possibly. I mean, it's illegal to drive 100 at a 90 speed limit zone, right? But there's no saying how illegal it is in how much time it takes you to reach 90. Right? Oh my god, oh my god. Oh. This is the kind of car that the review shouldn't be a 30 minute or 40 minute video of me driving the car. It should be only two things, right? Uh, a two minute video of me going bonkers in the car or a live session with no time limit of me trying to not go bonkers in this car. What a mad car, mad engine. <sighs> to those of you who bought one, salute. Because this is the equivalent of, I don't know, cars like Hellcat, cars like uh, Dodge Viper SRT 10, uh, not even an M5 whatever blah blah is in the same league of insanity as this car is, right? This is an insane car. This, hmm, what others? What other cars are in this realm of insanity? Probably when the E60 M5 first came out, the V10 screaming. Oh, that's, that's an ugly E60, by the way. Um, yeah. Oh. You know, if you, have, if you own this car and you have friends who bought the A35, right? They will really feel like don't, don't fetch them. They will feel so bad for not working that extra hard to spend another 100,000 in going into this, even though everything else is the same. You know, 90% of the time that car does what this car do, but the ability to go full on crazy plus stupid, mad and happy in this car is just, it's just bonkers. Oh my God. See, traffic jam, and then you see the middle, it's like, oh, I think I can go through that, you know. It makes you want to do crazy stuff. This is not in the league of Golf R's. Golf R's are very comfortable. Um, M340i is comfortable, but damn, a CLA45S, A45S, these are crazy stuff. Really, man. It's crap, everything is plastic, gloss black plastic everywhere you know the Dobbins whatever is they don't care right it's just my god only AMG yep let's continue the video when 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 I cool down right on the highway cruising legally if you believe it yeah. And that was comfort mode. Yep, just now I was in comfort mode and not sports. And this is sports. And this is sports plus. And on top of sports plus, which the A35 doesn't have, is race mode. Now this is race mode. Full on hardcore. I think this is the only car that my V's are afraid of.
love you, Mercedes Benz. <laughs> That's the thing. If you want refinement, you know, absolute fit and finish, blah blah blah, and all that, it's it's not what Mercedes uh, wants to do. Not that they can't, right? Now Mercedes is about injecting excitement and they're doing it better than anybody else just about anybody else in the business oh. what <laughs> bonkers bonkers uh. yeah man You get so naughty behind the wheels of, of one of these. I mean, to put simply, I have a friend who bought a Lexus LC500 and after only two months, or, or was it three, he sold the car and went for a C63 AMG. <laughs> stupid, but I am stupid. And the reason he sold his LC500 and went for the C63 is that it's not naughty enough and he wants something naughtier. And just last week, he texted me and showed me that he has sold his C63S and he bought a CLA45S, which is sort of like the sedan or coupe version of this. And I can totally understand that someone at the age of 33, or was it 34, uh, don't think it's time yet for that exquisite V8, beautiful sound and lovely Lexus interior. He just wanted a firecracker of a lunatic, crazy little car that just makes you grin and that is what this car is yeah. intelligent oh, I just love this I try, see, this little thing can control this or this or this, and I try my best to turn all three sections of the screen to display things that are the least needed when it comes to driving, right? So the right, the right portion of the screen is showing me my configurations, right? Race, D, Pro, Sport Plus. And in the middle is a mimic of that. Raise the Pro Sport Plus, which tells me nothing. It only tells me what I am currently at. And of course, there's the speedo counter on top, and on the left is the clock. So, yeah, Mercedes lets you do whatever you like with the screen, the three portion of the screen, to select things that are uh, that, that, that you want to. And I like the fact that they allow you to do just about whatever you like, that you can even do something like that, which is ludicrous all right so yeah. see I've never been more excited at 30 kmh oh what a car 
Yeah, if, so if you're thinking of buying this car, go for it. There are no competitors in, in the whole world. Not even an RS3 or a Golf R or an M2C or whatnot is as crazy, as, as uncomfortable as this. This is a car that sets that sets your soul on fire. It, it makes you want to do illegal stuffs, you know. It makes you want to break the law and go mad, go crazy for once. It is the roller coaster plus bungee jumping plus skydiving kind of car. All right, you just want to do all of those at once and just be stupid about it and hope you don't die. Yeah. But for once, if you've done these sort of crazy stuffs, even for once, it's worth, it, it, it will then be something worth remembering, right? So, yeah. What a car. What a car. And this is what we talk about when we talk about a car's character. A car would have character, be it naughty or, or comfortable or slow or whatnot. Character of a car meant that what it means, a char the character of a car, is when the designer or the team or the maker or the original brief of this product was so single-minded and the team achieved it and without even a briefing session the person who drive this car who bought this car would somehow get it would somehow understand what the original designers and all that were thinking about when he or she bought the car or drive the car because the character of the car just shines and and unveiled itself or, or showed itself let's look around the car cheers so there are no differences between this car's interior as opposed to the CLA45, as opposed to the A35, or even as extreme as towards the A200 or A180 or A250, blah, 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 blah. They're all the same, right? The formula is to take an existing platform and then produce a bonkers version of it, right? And um, the steering wheel, I've said that again and again, the best in the business, in terms of looks and how it grips and how the controls are presented you know it's just lovely so i love this steering wheel is is to it is to me one of the best steering wheel and this little touch sensitive pad here which i think is the best in the business when it comes to letting you understand quickly understand that this little black thing controls the screen right and this little black thing controls this screen. You don't see anything moving, but it's being selected. Let me show you. I have now selected. So there are three sections of the screen. The first section is being selected. I'll show you when it shows that it's selected. And this light lights up for a while. And when I scroll this, you see different things came out. All right. And then I scroll one time to the middle. It's very sensitive and it's very direct. And you can see that I can change whatever parameters I wish to view. And then I go to the leftmost. Now it is a clock. I can change to something else. I just want to make a point that Mercedes make it so accessible that you can create the least usable LCD display that you can find in terms of going through the stuffs, right? This is showing me what it is in now, which doesn't tell me anything. And this one is a repeat of this, and then this is the clock. Yeah, you get the speedo though. Yeah. Anyway, everything else is the same as the A Class. This is lovely. Mercedes removed the gear lever and put it here as a little stock, and this stock makes sense to reverse. Just push all the way up, 
you are in reverse to drive push all the way down so it truly allows you to drive with just one hand all right and then you press one time here p and you're in p okay park so the lovely thing about this little stock is that with just one stock you can be driving with one hand in the parking lot and then you go into reverse and then you reverse your car and then you want to drive front again and then you can drive and then you want to reverse again just reverse very easy all right so and then you clear up this space what bmw did with the new facelift 3 series is just not very clever you know a big gear lever they remove it and then put a little little toggle down there it's just stupid just just get it out of the way right anyway all this standard you have all the controls over here i'm not going to repeat them door bins are big enough but the plastics are cheap there are no felts you know it's the whole molding of this it's just one piece of cheap plastic not super low rents here not as low rents as the gla but other than that it's just you no know, there's no felt being put in and all that it's just but these are nice nice touch points beautiful i just wish this finishing is this it is not this is paint this is like brushed aluminium lookalike this is proper setting chrome i don't know why it's a separate thing anyway this one is setting chrome as well lock and unlock buttons over here okay memory seats all right acceptable uh not super squeegee stuff this is squeegee so it's all right um two usb-c ports nothing much to complain i prefer this type of opening than the silly ones the silly ones being these right pretty spacious very spacious in fact so it's a practical car it is a practical car open this and then this lights up very nice proper material frameless rear view mirror lovely seats unlike those seats of the a35 this is prop these are proper seats and extend this out yep lovely car lovely interior no sunroof i wish it has a sunroof and this is fitted to the same level of a Vios or City, to be honest. Anyway, why is it 460,000? Because they can charge you this money for the excitement that they give you, right? Let's go to the exterior of the car to have a look at this car. <coughs> Remasters, but uh, not super high quality ones. These rims are pretty unique, right? Not the most, not the ones that catches your attention immediately, but Look at this little ultra thick, you know, rim within the rim. And then there's a silver edge, you know, double spoke, classic double spoke. And the AMG batch there. Very nice wheels. Very nice wheels. Alright, the paint quality is very average. Very, very average. Alright. Look at that. Interesting. My eyes are seeing more orange peel than my camera interesting why is it that way anyway from the camera it looks all right okay so yep amg variant good looking car it is a lot more comfortable than the previous generation but please don't get a black color car and get, get some other exciting colors all right and a um, turbo formatic plus here. Two liter engine. So Rotax will be very cheap. The rear seats, they are reasonably okay for a uh, five foot 11 like me. I really like this thing, you know, I forgot to mention that be it the front seats that one or this i really like it it's so comfortable and this material is just so nice to grip i love sorting my hands like that for long distance drives so it's nice all right this is if i show you just this portion right you would you swear this is not a mercedes if i just show you this part you would have swear this is a 
this is a um, pro dua or something from the looks of it all right and uh, wall e is here ouch all right without the mouth little USB-C port here and um, nothing else see the same thing that I s I didn't spotted it during the first time I reviewed the A-Class but this little plastic molding the edge here is just too 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 sharp it's crazy that Mercedes you need to do something about this please 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 get your supplier to file it off before bringing it to you you know it's just so sharp is you can cut yourself see I just give it a little press look at my finger look at that I'll show you another finger and then I'm gonna do this just a quick one and then I'll show you how sharp it is look at that anyway isofix isofix good material quality here very average leather here uh, nothing much I bet it's just two holes oh no a sophisticated cup holder with a mechanism uh, more mechanism more moving parts so um, the Kia EV6 has like the cleverest cup holders you know just a hole here with a little tray with two holes that you slide out to become a cup holder you slide it back to become a rectangle opening compartment so smart very little moving parts and there you go this is the beautiful interior of the A45S all right absolutely stunning looking interior and uh, for me four fingers um, is it comfortable? It's, it feels airy, airier than a lot of cars, but of course you would have expected that this being an A-Class is for small families, this is not going to be a full length seat base, it's not going to be high because the kids can sit comfortably. And uh, that's about it. If you want outright refinement of interior, I believe a Volkswagen or an Audi has a more refined interior than this, apart from not being as pretty. Oh, wait, shit, sorry. <laughs> Albeit not being not as pretty being not as pretty as this. This appeals to everybody. Boy, girl, guy, woman, lady, whatnot. This is a beautiful interior. Very alluring design. Okay. Ingress egress is alright. The doors open to about 80 degrees. Alright. Of course, you cannot expect a uh, powered tailgate, but the boot is big for the size of the car. The boot is very big, all right? Exhausts are very sporty. Uh, this whole thing just shakes when I close the door. And uh, that's about it. This is the A45S. It is extremely expensive. It is crazy expensive, in fact. Uh, it's not worth the price for what Mercedes is asking for for the level of performance for the level level of refinement for the level of comfort and all that but if you are someone in pursuit of insanity it is one of the cheapest out there to give you this sort of crazy thrill yeah so there you go Cheers.